This machine here is a coil binder. It is going to put a coil binding on a book. So this is what a coil binding looks like. You can see that that binding is a spiral or a coil. And it's a plastic coil. So the way this machine works is there's a punch mechanism and then there's an inserter mechanism. The punch mechanism has individual punches for every hole and you can turn these punches on and off by pulling the switches out. Let me zoom in so you can see that. So these little tabs can be pulled out which turn the, the holes off or pushed in which turn the holes on. So let me show you an example of what this will look like with three holes pulled out. Power switches on the back. So here's a punch, three holes missing. And the trick here is when you punch, sorry. The trick is when you punch the holes is to get the holes to line up. So you see here on the edge how that hole doesn't quite line up. This edge, it, it lines up pretty nicely. Could be maybe a little more space over there. So what you want to do is take a scrap sheet of paper that's the size of the sheet of paper that your book is going to be. So I want to make a book this, this size. It's a, a half of the letter size sheet. And the first trick is to get your holes lined up on one scrap sheet of paper. Then once your holes are lined up, then you can proceed and, and bind your book. So your sheet gets inserted. This stop over on the side is uh, there's a screw post on it so you can loosen that up and you can move it left or right with your sheet to line up with the holes. Now the holes you see on the bottom here, those are exactly where your uh, sheet is going to be punched. So you can use those as a way to line up your holes in the sheet. Okay. Uh, there are also little indicators here for if you have an eight and a half inch sheet, this is an eight and a half inch sheet, you can use these guidelines to line up the edges of your sheet. So I set this in place, I tighten that down, turn those three on, and check my sheet. That looks good. So you can see there's even spacing in either hole. All the holes are there. Um, even spacing between the top and the bottom of the sheet. Now that your punch is set correctly, you can move on to binding a book with multiple pages. Now this machine will punch uh, 15 pages at a time. So uh, first time you do it, probably count out 15 pages. Once you've, once you've punched 15 pages a couple times, you'll kind of know the thickness of 15 pages. Okay, it's a pretty, pretty thin stack of paper. So it punches all those at the same time. Then you're ready to insert a coil. The coil gets inserted by hand first for the first couple of holes. You see I'm into about four holes there. And then you can use the wheel on the front here as an inserter, okay? So there's a switch on the bottom of the machine. Right here, nope. Right down here, there's a switch, a little rocker switch that switches if it's up, the foot pedal controls the punch. If the switch is down, the foot pedal controls the roller here. So you'll notice there are some warning labels here this roller does create a pinch point um, and there's an exclamation warning that says do not put your hands in here, uh, loose clothing or um, appears to be jewelry, necklaces, those types of things. So um, there are little visual warnings here that this is a pinch point 
Um, but the pinch point is how the mechanism works. All right, so what you want to do is you lean your, you push your coil up into that roller as you turn it on, and you'll see that the coil will thread through the booklet. Okay, so it uses the coil, the pressure against the coil pressure against the roller to insert the coil. It just spins it on. Okay, then at this point, you just need to trim the excess from the coil. You do that with these pliers, pliers cutters. Notice they are cable tied to the machine itself. So they are a specific tool. It's a, 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 a specific tool. If you look at the mouth of the tool, see how the top edge has uh, two teeth and the bottom has kind of an L-shaped tooth. So the trick here is holding these in your right hand with the dot on the top side. So it looks like a little, I don't know, a little lizard face or something. Then with that dot on the top, holding this in your right hand, the two prongs go underneath the coil that you want to cut. Two prongs underneath the coil you want to cut, and then squeeze nice and hard. And what that's going to do is it's going to cut and bend that coil. If you can see that. It's difficult to see on the camera here. So you can see it's, it's both cut and it's got a bend in it. And that bend prevents the coil from backing out this way. All right. Do the same thing on the opposite side. Pliers in your right hand. Little lizard face with the eye up on top. The two bottom posts on those pliers, the two bottom posts go underneath the coil you want to cut. And again, you've got the end there, cut and crimped.